All right, then time now for our book club. Uh, it's my turn. I chose a book called Half Past Danger. Oh, what's up, Danger? Written and drawn by Stephen Mooney. Um, let me get the, the other credits here real quick. I should have had this. Uh, colors by Jordi Belair. Hell yeah, Jordi. Uh, so yeah, it's cool stuff. Uh, uh, he's going to be doing the newest uh, Black Widow series. He's yes. the artist on oh, it. Oh, hell yeah, I'm that's gonna awesome. I'm going to pick it up now. Yeah, he's, really, he was really, he's really excited about that. Uh, so let's just, let's just get into it. What did you guys think about this one? I didn't know dinosaurs were in this book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't? <laughs> nope. Oh. I didn't know anything about it, and I didn't really look that closely at the cover. So I was just like, oh, cool. It looks like like an old period piece, like a, uh, hey, Indiana Jones uh, detective yeah. kind of adventure. So you also and I'm didn't like, know Hell yeah, let's Captain America was in this book either. Nope. And so I just like jump into it, and the first dinosaur showed up, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I did see the cover, and it says dinosaurs, dames, and danger. I'm like, well, shit, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah. Just I, like, was, I was sold on art and title alone, so I did not look that closely. So yeah. the dinosaurs were a total surprise. <laughs> so I remember, I remember um, actually, Ryan, you go first. You, you, if your initial thoughts about this book. Oh, I thought it was fun. It was good. Oh. It was a good time. Um, I, uh, I first heard about this book and working at the comic book store. It was coming out in single issues, half past angels. Like, oh, that sounds, that sounds rad. Then I heard there were dinosaurs in it. Then I heard there were Nazis in it. And then I heard it was a pulp adventure story with dinosaurs, Nazis called Half Past Danger. The sequel is mm-hmm. called Dead to Rikes. And I was just like, okay, I'm picking this up. Yeah. Um, I uh, I kind of wish I would like I liked it a lot more because you know it's right up my alley. Same. Me too. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did I did like it a lot though. It's a, I, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a thoroughly good time, but I was never at a point where I'm like a ten out of ten loving it. But yeah. the entire ride through is like, man, this is a lot of fun. This, Holy, yeah. This book gave me. Um, it kind of gave me five ghost vibes. I got. I got there. Iron. Hundred percent. Fla- What's the comic you the, the the World War II comic we read? Brigade. Light Brigade. Light Brigade. I got that too. I, but I like Light Brigade more. But I got the same sensibilities. Yeah. I think. I think for me, what it was is that I felt like this just didn't. It went right up to the line of pulpy. But it didn't go. It didn't cross as, it. It, di- it didn't yeah. go as pulpy as I wanted it to be. I'm like, you have freaking dinosaurs. Go, go, the Captain yeah. go, America, the go Captain crazy. America stuff. Jump that, that was jump a nice. That, that was a nice little. Yeah. Oh, right, we got a super soldier. That's yeah. pretty cool. So, I, so ben, but they treat it too too plainly. He he doesn't appear even though it's there. Like too even much. Even though it's there, they they treat it too plainly. They don't go for the the over the topness yeah. of it. So Ben, Ben, you brought up half. I brought a uh, five, five ghosts. Yeah. Uh, five ghosts is a series I, I desperately love. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I love that series too. It is. It is uh, I got some Five Ghost vibes here, but it, with the difference is Five Ghost goes into that pulpy yes. yeah. area. It goes further there. Sure. Whereas this one goes up to the line, like you said. And I really, I wish it had gone further. Uh, but there, you know, there's still the femme fatales. There's uh, for sure. Uh, there, uh, there's a lot of what I love about it here. Yeah. It definitely just felt like a story where I'm like. Yeah. Go go like one I bet, step. Past I bet this. the sequel does go farther. That'd be great. Uh, I I I liked it. I I echo very much what Brandon's saying. Where like this is this is so much things I like. I love old radio dramas. Brandon knows this. Yeah. Knows I'm obsessed yeah. with old radio dramas. This felt like it could have been one of those old radio dramas. But the thing is, like when they do crazy things like this in the radio dramas, they go nuts. They go they go full like. Over I got the top like, like Sky pulpy. Captain in the World Tomorrow. Yes, that's super crazy. Yes, like it, this didn't go that far. DC the New Frontier starts in the, in a very much the same place that I wanted that to go. Hundred percent. Sky Captain is such a good call. Yeah, that's I wanted this to be at Sky Captain level, and it's like one step below it. And I'm yeah. like, no, go to Sky Captain level. Yeah, this uh, is exactly at Sky Captain level. There's dinosaurs in that movie too. <laughs> I need to watch that movie again. There's dinosaurs in Sky Captain. Yes, level. there are. I know. I forgot until this moment. Oh. I like that movie. I remember <laughs> that's a great movie. So I know I really want to take, have my dad take me to see that movie, but he never did. I never saw it. Anyways, back to Half Past Danger. I didn't. Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't expect the. I guess I saw it coming, but I didn't expect it. The I guess s- that makes sense. The, oh, twi- the, double, the Spanish the, Inquisition. The double. No one ever does. <laughs> the double agent. The double agent. I. I okay. was like, man, if this doesn't happen, I'm going to be shocked. So I was actually. I thought I called it. When I was reading it, like when she shows up, she you can obviously tell us she's like mm, she's like very prim and proper, very like, black widow. You're probably gonna be a double agent, and then of course they they meet the the paleontologist. I'm thinking she, she's there's no way she's like when when it's the reveal. I'm like it's Elizabeth. It's she, either it's Elizabeth or Noble. I'm gonna be pissed if once, it's Noble. Once once the reveal starts, uh, I thought it was gonna be Noble. But then, uh, for a second, I, I wasn't surprised that it was Elizabeth. What, yeah, what are you gonna try to say she has the beauty mark. She had to be the bad guy. That's true. Yeah. That's true. 
there's a she's uh, the dangerous bad woman. She had the beauty mark. So when she does, and she also has the great line of, "Are you going to join me, Captain?" And mm-hmm. the captain just takes a shot. He's like, "I'm going that's, in." That's a great. I took a picture of that. That's a great <laughs> scene. Um, there's a so when the double the the double agent thing happens and like they get locked in somewhere. Uh, the evil Nazi guy goes, "How fitting that your country will share your fate, American." Uh, uh, punctured by our, by our flag as she bleeds like the provo- provo- proverbial stuffed pig. Hi, Hitler, and he slams the door. Oh yeah, when uh, uh, Noble gets stabbed by a freaking Nazi flag. Yeah, that's uh, a that that's good stuff. There's also a lot of Lost World, Jurassic Park, the movie yes. vibes, specifically the movie to this book. That I was like, yeah, all right. I mean, I've I, you know, like up to the villain getting killed by a T Rex in a cargo ship in the head downward yeah, hangar, yeah. and I'm so, like, dang guys, did you like Lost World, Jurassic Park? I think you like that movie. <laughs> so that is some great imagery, especially when hell uh, yeah, no, especially when like the quote unquote camera pans out and all you see are the eyes and the yeah. teeth. Yes, I saw that. I'm like, absolutely. Oh, I went out because I was reading this normally late last night. I'm looking at that. I was like, man, I really hope this doesn't haunt my nightmares tonight. I, I'd I be thought really it was. Upset. I thought it was pretty sad. Also, that that you know, he looks at the brachiosaur and he's like. I'm sorry, I don't have another choice. Yeah, like, I, I, I kind of fell for that. Like the Brachiosaurus was just looking at him, and, and also like, oh, Greta. Damn, damn long necks always making us feel things when they're oh. about to die. So, <laughs> unsung MVP of this whole book is Ishikawa. Oh, that dude, dude Ishii is it, so cool. Ishii you're, you're is correct. the coolest dude ever, and also he keeps a dinosaur as a pet. I think that's adorable. It so, of course, cool. sets up the sequel. But not only that, I just love the fact that he is. A, a literal American. He was a Japanese who thought Pearl Harbor was dishonor. So he's like, "Nope, screw this, screw this. I'm gonna go on the other side." And everyone's like, "Okay, that's fine." There's You're- a there's a double page panel that I took a picture of, and it's just him going down a hallway, kicking fools' asses. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And it's just panel after panel of him just, doing kung fu moves, just like, throwing shurikens, this stabbing is people good with comic swords. Book action. I do wish he were he was utilized a little more. Not necessarily in action, but as a character. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There's also a scene where, uh, I think it's a main character, Noble, where he first sees a dinosaur, and he, and it's running towards him, and his hand's shaking, and he's not shooting the gun. And then yeah. as the dinosaur's about to bite him, he goes, ah, get it together! Yo, oh, <laughs> that, Tommy, that moment, yeah, that moment when they're, like, uh, surrounded by the uh, Dianonychus, uh, <laughs> and they're surrounded by them, and he's like, no, you can't use the gun. Then they might know we're here. We got it. And he's like, oh, screw that. And he just starts yeah, punching yeah. dinosaurs and throwing them at Breaking each other. Breaking their necks. Incredible. I loved it. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I wanted more of that stuff. Same. same exactly. Same. Yeah. It, it doesn't go quite far enough to make this like the book. I want to watch. I, I want to watch my super soldier man beat the shit out of dinosaurs movie. I am. I That's am, what I want. I am interested in the sequel, though. Uh, so I will pick it up because I yeah. am. I want to know if they go hard in the sequel. Yeah. And again, not everything has to be a movie, but this is a. I, I want to know if they go full easily, past danger. Easily translatable, like fun, pulpy, it's, not too expensive. It's essentially movie. a one shot. Uh, well, it kind of does give a little bit of a cliffhanger. Like, you get that letter because Moss wasn't working for the Nazis. She was working for a third party. Man. She was like, Metal hey, Gear, these baby. dinosaurs can't <laughs> leave the island. The, Amer- they, the Americans can't get them. No one can Triple get them. Triple agent. I, I want a radio drama of this. Half, we can, let's make it. Let's do it. Half past danger. So good. What's up, danger? You know what? Let's do it. Add it to the list. All right. Add it to Show the list. number to the list. 29. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Brandon, that I really enjoyed reading this book. Yeah, it was, th- it was that or a different one. Um, I'm happy with this choice. I'm glad I finally got to read this. I've had yeah. this on my shelf for a while. 